Hello everyone, long time no see. Today I want to introduce a impact of a fabric sheet. So this is the result. First, I have introduced alt mode this uh, this case, and this is a fabric sheet. And it's just a, a rectangular sheet element, and the property we used the fabric material property, and we create the membrane uh, property. The thickness is. One millimeter. So here we use the membrane. We assign the property section to this sheet and create another part. This is the impactor. We make it as discrete rigid and give it a reference point and then we can assemble this part and make the impactor at the center of the rectangle sheet then in this step we created a dynamic explicit step and the time duration of simulation is 0.3 second then the output build output we make it default and in the history output request we want to get the velocity for displacement of the impact so I create a set of reference point, point and create a history output request for this set and the variables are here acceleration, displacement and velocity. Now we need to create a contact because impacts and the sheet need to contact, we create a contact um, property, and here we give it a default property, and then is the okay. Here we create two face surface for the a master surface is the surface of the impact and the second surface is a sheet of the top surface. And also I create a self contact of the sheet because the sheet membrane may contact may happen self-contact during the deformation. So, we just need two contact. And then we give it a constraint I constrain the four point at the corner and give the initial velocity of the contactor and the velocity is about one meters per second in the negative z direction. So the mesh here I import it as mesh and the element type is membrane element because we have assigned the section property as the membrane so this is membrane element 
then we can create to a job and submit it and wait until it's completed. Then we can show we can share the result. I have turned off the mesh edge. So this is the result. I'll show you the animation. You can see the membrane has not deformation, but when during the deformation, the stiffness will increase, so it can it can make the impact return back to the air. So a turn off the edges. This is the displacement. We can also check the stress. As you can see, the most stress is at the constraint corners. And also we can check the velocity because we have we have output the velocity of impact we can check the um, velocity curve so as you can see the initial velocity is about one meter per second and at the time of zero point one at the velocity has get get uh, sorry The, at the time of 0 0.1, the velocity has returned the direction and back in the air. So, because lack of the gravity, the velocity will not change again. And also, we can check the displacement of the impactor, and this is the displacement and make the sheet to bending and um, anything it return back in the air and here is the acceleration we can see the max acceleration is about 25 meter per, sec per second square so, and we can also get the impact force of the forces. So the forces, impact forces ended at about um, 0, 1 at second. Just show you the displacement of the sheet and impact. Um, okay, this is the whole tutorial of this case. Um, thank you for watching. If you are interested in Abacus simulation, please subscribe my channel and we are and we are starting together. Thank you for watching.